I wanted to make a video about SRAM Red ETAP because I'm not going to lie, I've had a lot of issues with it. I've looked on the internet, I've looked on YouTube, and no one's actually given a proper review. So I'm going to get into the issues and I'm going to show you the issues in a bit, but I'd first just go off like what happened. So in about June this year, no, sorry, May this year, my 105 was being annoying and I was like, you know what, I've wanted ETAP for ages, let's just, just get it. So I managed to get it second hand for quite a steal. I was very happy. I knew a couple of my mates who'd had ETAP. I knew people who'd had it and no one seemed to mention any issues. I didn't end up Googling and like any issues about it. So I just assumed, well, how can it go wrong? It's electronic, like surely the motors are just gonna work and it's all be good. So anyway, bought ETAP, loved it. Just put it on the bike, set it up. Front derailleur shifting's a little bit hard to master. Um, but it, it did work pretty well. Rear de derailleur shifting has been flawless the whole time. Uh, and so, you know, just riding along, riding along, probably did like 2,000, 3,000 Ks on it, maybe a bit more. Um, I'll, I'll check exactly. But anyway, and then it just decided one day that it wasn't going to shift anymore. It was just like, nah, not going to do any shifts. And you'd shift, it wouldn't shift for ages. And then five minutes later, it would do like 700 shifts that you'd done. And then you'd be like, all right, well, cheers for that. But that's not very useful because I'm now in completely the wrong gear. And this was just on the rear derailleur. The front derailleur was fine. Never seems to have this issue. So it was going absolutely crazy. Like I, I'd never ridden a derailleur with that chaotic. And I was just like, oh, surely like I must be the only person in the world. So anyway, I had a Google. And it's like everyone on the internet has this issue and that it doesn't work properly. And literally the identical issue where it, like it doesn't get the shift, like the shift recognizes and it just doesn't do anything for ages and then like suddenly decides to change gear so anyway, that was very weird so that was my first derailleur and i remember like at one point i literally was like trying to do some efforts around around this circuit just took out the battery whacked it in a 15 or something and just did efforts because it was just such a, a nightmare anyway because it was second hand i was i didn't have a warranty so that was a bit of a nightmare so i decided mm, what do i do i can sell etap and probably make a profit on it because i bought it for really cheap or i was like or i could just persevere actually get a derailleur from, I was like, well, I could get a second-hand one, but I was like, nah, the first one failed, so let's not get a second-hand one. So I was like, all right, we'll, we'll actually fork out big bucks. So I spent quite a lot of money on getting a new ETAP rear derailleur. I was like, all right, surely this is just a one-off issue, should be all right. If not, it's on warranty. So anyway, I installed that probably like July, I'd say. So I'd, I'd only had it for maybe for two, three months, so yeah, maybe like 2,000K or something. I'm not, not, not crazy amounts. Anyway, so then... I was thinking, all right, no worries, no worries. Um, we'll just, we'll put the derailleur on and it will work perfectly. Anyway, so having a little bit of shifting issues, I'll buy buy a new um, mech hanger because my mech hanger was slightly bent. And anyway, bought a new mech hanger, derailleur was on, ideal. Like literally perfect shifting. And I was like, oi, this electronic stuff is the one. So anyway, I was just loving life. I then, you know, was riding it loads over the summer. I was doing big Ks. Then I had hill climb season where I made it a one by perfect no worries like genuinely the shifting was really really good it was so nice having electronic it was like crisp i was like all right this is perfect anyway so put the double chain ring back on all the usual stuff just you know riding along recently everything's been perfectly fine all right um no issues at all uh loving life and then literally three days no five days ago it decides it's not going to shift past the 17 tooth and i was like oh no we're not having this again anyway so fiddle it around, fiddle it around, can get it half to work. Uh, and I say to the bike shop and the boy's like, well, I reckon just a little clean, it should be all right. I was like, because it, at that point it was shifting with no chain on it. I was like, okay, perfect, perfect. And then now it just doesn't shift again. But this is a different issue. So the first issue was like, it didn't want to register the shifts, but then it got confused. Now it's like the motor doesn't push it. So what you can do is if you go from the 11, hold, hold it down and it does multiple shifts and get like all the way down but if you just try and do one from like say that like 19 to the 21 or something whatever the the gap halfway in the middle is it just won't work and you're just like oh right, actually it's a 450 pound derailleur and it stops working in about three months and I was, i've just had enough like it's just so bad and the worst thing about it and this is the reason why i don't think you should buy etap it's not because it doesn't work which is a huge issue but it's because sram you can't contact them there's no email address on their website. You can't DM them on Twitter. I DM'd on the Insta, obviously no reply. And it's like, you can't just sell stuff and expect like to have no responsibility. So I've got into contact with the people I'm uh, who I bought it from and they're trying to sort it out. So hopefully it'll be okay. 
but like it's just such a joke like i just don't understand how you can have a product that's so bad but no one on youtube seems to have actually ridden it for any length of time or maybe i just abuse my components which could be true but like i don't really i've kept it pretty clean most of my riding was in the summer and yeah like the, the first one i bought was only summer riding and it broke so i don't understand but all i would say is if you're gonna get etap i just wouldn't i don't think access is that much better people seem to have issues so I just would go DI2. My mates who have DI2, it just seems to work. I have another mate now who has a TT bike, Teddy. His, his the one's gone as well. He's changed to DI2. I think people who don't ride too much or maybe like absolutely meticulous about cleaning everything don't seem to have these problems. But if you actually ride quite a lot of Ks and occasionally don't clean your bike after every ride, I think it just goes because like it's just a joke now. It's beyond um, It's beyond anything I've ever seen. Like, how can it just fail twice? But I know, like, if you look on the forums, people have had it fail, like, five or six times. They've gone through five derailers. That's, like, £2,000. Like, I don't understand how SRAM are like, hmm, this seems okay. Like, surely, especially for Axis, they would have fixed it. But I've heard apparently Axis is similar. But I obviously can't comment on that because I don't actually have Axis. But anyway, yeah, it's not good. Um, so we'll, we'll now go over and um, I'll show you the exact problem. And if you have a similar issue you'll know exactly what the issue is, which is the motor doesn't work properly. Um, but yeah, it's a nightmare. All right, so this is part two. We're gonna show you why the ETAP's not not always the one. Uh, and we'll, 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 we'll show you now. So this is the bike. We're gonna click downshift. And uh, nothing has happened. So uh, not ideal. Then click upshift. And again, nothing has happened. So it's really not ideal. Um, it basically just doesn't shift, um, but it knows it's shift, like it will, it will have the red light. Um, but we'll show you in more detail. All right, so as you can see, the old ETAP is in, in number 12. Uh, so we're gonna double tap on the inside and it shifts, double tap again. And then it just stops shifting and it won't shift anymore. It's an absolute nightmare. So now we're in like 14 tooth. And you can see it, it's shifted, it knows it has, because it has the red little light. We'll do it again, and nothing happens. So if we click this way, again, nothing happens, nothing happens, and then it shifts. So it knows that it should be three three up, but it doesn't happen. So we'll double click it again, and you'll get to see. Nope, nope. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why we don't buy ETAP, because it doesn't work. And uh, yeah. So yeah, all in all, not ideal with the old ETAP. Doesn't really work. I'm gonna send it back uh, and hopefully we'll, we'll get an answer from SRAM and they'll be able to sort me out. But this is my second derailleur, second derailleur in not many months. Okay, you're gonna say, Charlie, your bike's a mess. And that is true. However, I think it doesn't really matter if it's a mess or not, it should still work. So I'm, I'm quite unhappy. And everyone said to me, oh yeah, no, ETAP works quite well. But then recently I had a little Google on the forums. A lot of people have these issues. So, pff, might just go back to mechanical, dual race, could happen. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Hopefully when this ETAP issue is sorted, uh, we'll have no more worries. But I don't think that's going to be the case. And I can't be bothered to just try and sort this out every couple months. It's just too much effort. So anyway, that's where we got to so far.